Hello, hello, rockers and or rollers. We're back for episode five of the Rockdale Podcast Show. We took a week off last week while we were reevaluating everything and getting everything secure for our lessons and everything. We'll talk more about that in the episode. But let's kick it off. and or rollers we're back for episode five of the rockdale podcast show as i said in the intro we took off last week uh, due to uh we were zoom bombed in our virtual open mic and we decided to take take a little step back and figure out the best way to move forward and make sure everybody's safe and secure so we have actually moved most of our lessons over to blue jeans for the time being um and and anything that's still being used on Zoom, some teachers had more success with Zoom. So now we are making sure we are super password protected and we're locking rooms and using the waiting room and and all of the features, the security features that are built into Zoom. Uh, we're also using FaceTime, Google Meets, whatever you're most comfortable with, we're, we're moving to you. But we are also working with a developer to who has a software for or video virtual lessons strictly built for music schools and for music lessons. Uh, it has chord diagrams and lyrics and sheet music built into it so that you can scroll to different screens and see everything. So we're going to be implementing that program in the next couple of weeks, and that's called Rock Out Loud Live. So we'll keep you posted. We're in the beta testing phase with that. Um, I've been working with the developer uh, to help him kind of find little bugs, and and, and he's built a, an amazing, amazing program already. So we're excited to switch over to that. But first, we have... The deadline for our songwriting contest is coming up. It's actually the 30th, but if you get it to us by the end of the week, we will allow it. So make sure you get your recordings of your songs over to us. You can send it just to info at rockdalemusic.com, or you could tag us on Facebook with Rockdale Rockdown, hashtag Rockdale Rockdown, and, and tag Rockdale Music. Or Instagram, same thing uh, on with those. Um, next, we, we have, um, so our rock bands have actually been doing this cool collaborative program in Soundtrap, which is a recording app online, where they were learning their parts to songs and then recording them over the original track. And then we're pulling the, the original track out. So all you hear is our students playing it's uh it's it's gonna be really cool we've got a couple songs that are pretty close to being uh recorded and done so we can't wait to share those with you um we are going to be bringing back our workshops and clinics our virtual workshop and clinics next week and they will also be streamed on facebook live or um and and, and i should say and or youtube um just making sure we're just working out all the kinks with that as well. So we'll be back with new virtual open mics and um, and and that stuff. Also, we're talking about doing like a virtual recital program, which one of our students, Colin, came up with. Um, so we're working out the details. We might use Soundtrap for recording your part for that, sending it in, and then we'd cut together kind of like a cool video, uh, virtual virtual recital video. Um, I know we're all missing those performance opportunities right now, me included. Oh, I forgot to do my T-shirt thing. My T-shirt actually today is shameless self-promotion. It's The Real Feel. It's my band, The Real Feel. And this artwork was actually, it's hard to see, but this artwork was made by a very talented digital artist in Philadelphia named Alex Ekman Lawn. So you can check out. He actually just did one of my other friend's albums, uh, 
artwork by friend's band Gwine. So he's actually the drummer from The Real Feel and Scantron. So he's a, a buddy that I've been playing music with since middle school, if you believe it or not. Um, so, yeah, we'll be back with workshops and clinics. Stay tuned to our emails if you want to see what we have coming up there. We're still booking next week. Um, OK, and th- finally, I wanted to address um, our summer camp programs is there's still a lot of uncertainty um, with getting kids together. Uh, Obviously, schools are closed for the rest of the school year. We haven't been advised as to what's going on with summer camps. Uh, I know summer school programs are not going to run, so we are preparing to run if given the go-ahead, but we are also just making contingency plans as well uh, for if we do have to cancel. If we did cancel summer camps, we would offer a full refund to anybody who would like it. Um, And we will also try and offer a different kind of program, maybe a virtual program for summer camps. That would only be maybe an hour a day of checking in. Um, You know, we don't want kids sitting in front of the computer, sitting in front of the computer screen during their summer for hours and hours each day. But we think that social interaction would be really important too. And like using music to, to fill their days is not a bad way to spend them. Right. So I believe that's pretty much it. Um, I was a lot in a, in a pretty quick episode, but get those songwriting contests entries in as soon as you can. We'll announce more about the rock out loud live video app. Um, and share some of those rock band collaborations with you. Um, and stay tuned for workshops and recitals and, and clinics. And we the f- will definitely keep you updated with any of the summer camp news that we have coming up. Um, so we'll keep you updated. We, we do actually also have a recital booked for June 6th at World Cafe Live. If we are able to do that, we would, you know, have our kids rock programs, our rock bands and anybody else who wants to participate, be a part of that as well. But we are still waiting to hear back from or hear from World Cafe Live. Their doors are still closed, obviously. Um, So if their doors are open and we have guidelines that we can follow um, for the recital, then we will do our best to make it happen. And we thank you so much for being a part of our community here. Um, We actually did get our PPP, the loan, the payroll protection program loan um, or grant. And so we are in good shape here at Rockdale and we thank you for being behind us through these crazy, weird, uncertain, whatever other cliche we want to throw in here times. But what's not cliche is that we really, really, really do appreciate how much you have shown your support for what we do and we are happy to be here for you so with that i'm going to close this episode and we'll catch you next time thanks so much rock and roll Media.